This is Daniel Batten from the Northern New England Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, and I'm going to illustrate the what you can do with budget allocations in the JUUL program. You click on Make Budget Allocations, which is the next step after remittance. Budget allocations have not been set up. Do you want to set them up now? We're going to say, yes, we do want to set them up. This is also a screen that you can get through to from the Windows menu bar at the top where under maintenance and then edit budget allocations. Many churches will transfer from church budget to certain accounts on a percentage basis and we can do that also. Let's put an annual budget of $12,000. Oops. Uh, so what we're going to do we're going to put a certain amount to church expense per month. Let's say that we're going to do, we have about $1,000 to do each month, and we'll do $500. Actually, we should do 50%. If you type in a percentage number here, you can allocate on a percentage basis. We could do 50% to both church expense and the church school. But now let's say you, that's not really how you want to do it. Let's say you really wanted to do 708 church expense and you wanted to send $600 to it. And then you wanted to send $400. You could also transfer on a fixed dollar amount. There's not one right or wrong way to do it. It's just a matter of what the local church's philosophy is. They may not even need to do transfers at all, particularly in the case of a small church. But let's just leave it at fixed dollar amounts. We click OK. And now we're ready to make the budget allocations. And what they're proposing that we do is to transfer $1,000, 400 to church school, and 600 to church expense. So we click OK. It warns me the amount that I'm allocating is greater. Am I sure I want to do this? Yes, I will do that anyway. And that is how you do budget allocations.